Well, Candace, the governor offering his support to hear to those here at the Islamic Center and condemning what happened. Meanwhile, those here who are building the center say they are continuing to do so and have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of support since this latest act of vandalism. I'm MPS. Nice Eat to meet you. Again. Thank you so much. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin offers the traditional greeting at the West End Islamic Center Monday as its members celebrate Eid al Fitr to mark the end of Ramadan. All right, let's go inside. The governor then toured the under construction center and offered support after it was hit by vandalism two weeks ago. I want you to know how important this is to come um, see what you're building. Yes. But, yes. but but also know that we are locked armed to make sure that you're safe. It was the second time in six months, this time causing about $2,500 of damage, but members say it's not about the money. Noting while the motive is still unknown, they're hoping for the best, but assuming the worst. So it definitely felt like a hate crime, um, you know, because you come in, you, you know, this is the one place you want, you, you don't expect that to happen. But those with the center and it's led to an outpouring of support from people of all faiths. Whether they came and dropped in flowers, they came and dropped in checks for donations, they did online donations. We just love this community. As for Monday's meeting, the member said when the governor's office reached out for one, they saw it as a chance to build more bridges. It doesn't matter if you're which side of the aisle you're on, right? It's we're all human beings, so uh, they feel like this was a good first step in developing a relationship. Among what was discussed over Baklava was the ways the governor's office could support the whole Muslim community, including required training for Virginia's police officers about their faith. Afterwards, Yunkin adding the other key moment was to condemn any kind of crime committed in a statement of hate. I think we've got a real opportunity to, to stand up together and make sure that we put a stop to this. Meanwhile, the Henrico County Police say they are continuing to investigate this latest case and are asking anyone with information to please come forward.